Hey guys, I am back with another week of Broadway grosses, so let's get into it. This has been a fantastic week for all shows involved. And Juliet um, went from 87% to 93%, and 838k to 1,038,278. A Beautiful Noise, and that is closing, uh, went from 69% to 84%, and 914k to 1,128,552. Um, Back to the Future went from 90% to 94%, and 1,110,021 to 1,160,496. Cabaret went from 99% to 99%, and 1,883,570 to 1,814,656. Hades Town went from 100.59 to 100.91, and 878k to 917k. Hamilton went from 99% to 100% and 1,908,390 to 1,972,882. Pause. I know that I'm going super fast, but I got nothing to say. All these shoot, all these musicals are doing amazing. I wish every, you know, week could be like this because in a lot of ways, you know, if it was, then we wouldn't get new musicals, um but that would mean that uh, a ton of musicals that deserve to be here would still be here. But such is the cycle. Hell's Kitchen had an amazing week, despite no best musical Tony, um, playing to 100% last week and 101% this week, and 1,687,961 to 1,800,888. Illinois went from 89% or 86% to 91%, and 758K to 847K to 847 And this is the week after the Tonys. Um, so I'm glad that Illinois had a major increase, and I hope that they finish off their limited engagement um, on a high. And um, it was very, clearly a very clever move on the producer's part to make this a limited engagement. And we've gone over various you know, factors as to why Illinois is in a mega hit. And if you want to know those factors, watch the other videos. But basically, it's a bit more of a niche album, and the whole concept of it being a dance show does make it kind of like a Kimberly Akimbo strange loop, if you feel me. Merrily had its best week ever, uh, selling out, like always, 1,843,457 last week, and 2,173,254. Moulin Rouge had a slightly better week, but it's still not in a great place, going from 93% to 95%, and 957k to 1,020,715. Um, Suffs went from 97% to 100%, and 852k to 942k, and it's doing surprisingly good. Like, this could make it past January. I, I was suspect it was going to close then, but Suffs is doing the exact kind of numbers it needs to do, and if it can maintain 8s and 9s throughout the summer, and then maybe have a couple of weeks of sevens and sixes it can make it but it has far surpassed any expectation i had for it so um even though i think it is not a good show because i think it's basically woke the musical uh the great gatsby also a huge surprise going from 91 percent to 98 percent and 1 million 155,615 to 1 million 333,401 Again, I think Gatsby could be here for years. Um, honestly, at this point, I didn't expect it to do this good. And when a show does that good, it does not fall that to the level of it's going to close in January. Could it still happen? Yes. But I think The Great Gatsby is going to be here a year from now. And clearly, despite a lot of people not liking it, myself included, um, it has found an audience. And I think it is a, a certified success. Um, and I know that the other Gatsby at the ART is a lot more artistic, it's a lot more not as mainstream, and I know that they've created an Instagram account that has B-Way Gatsby, so I don't know if I would recommend them coming in when this Gatsby is doing so well, and again with Chafkin having the flop of Lampika, her next musical is gonna have to be like amazing for people that I get, I think, gain that trust back. Because people are going to be like, well, what did this director do? Oh, Lampika. Oh, I didn't like that show. So there's a lot at stake for that Gatsby. The Heart of Rock and Roll went from 272k to 400k and 51% to 67%. The, the Notebook went from 663k to 760k and 87% to 92%. A better, a better week but I still think it will close in January, but it could also close in the fall. These are not amazing numbers, and I think, hey, it could it could make it. It could make it, 
But just on how it's done in the past month, it seems like its trajectory is going downwards, but it could always come back. But I'm suspecting it's not going to. The Outsiders had a behemoth of a week, going from 1,023,804 to 1,307,257. Uh, and playing to sold out crowds. Um, the Who's Tommy is closing, surprisingly, going from 72% to 78% and 762k to 794k. Again, these are not amazing numbers, but I thought, hey, they might stick it out until at least the fall, but that didn't even happen. The Wiz went from 1,428,387 to 1,481,208 and 96% to 97%. And Water for Elephants went from 1,002,827 to 1,123,678. Um, the and 84% to 86%. Again, I still think that will close come January or the end of the year, even though it's doing decent now. But hey, there could be surprises. So overall, an amazing week for shows. <clears throat> Definitely someone to keep on the radar. But for the most part, this was an amazing week, and that should make you feel amazing. So like, subscribe, comment, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.